Hey guys, PR75 ke here. So many of you after seeing my Instagram story have asked me to do a deck setup tour. But unfortunately I can't do it now because my deck is still not complete. I'm still working on many things. Especially the cable management which sucks at the moment. So anyways, but now I'd like to show you my editing rig or my PC configuration which helps me to edit. And it can edit 4K so it's kind of future proof by buying a 4K camera and a 4K monitor so I can switch to 4K very soon if I have the budget which I don't anyway. In this video I just want to talk about the things I considered before building my editing rig. So if you are into video editing and YouTube and all so this video might help you or else you can just quit it at the moment or you can just watch it anyways it will help me get some watch time. Anyways so starting off I let me tell you my previous configuration of my PC so my processor was Intel i3 which was around first or second generation back in 2011 most probably and my I had only 4 gigs of RAM and I had a 1 GB Radeon graphics card so going down the memory lane I used to shoot with my iPhone 5C and my microphone was Blue Snowball Eyes so I didn't have the budget to buy a DSLR or a better mic so I invested whatever I earned on the Blue Snowball so since then my channel has come a far away so thanks to you guys for that so the main reason I had to upgrade my PC was when I saw the Premiere Pro 2017 launch out the minimum requirement of the RAM was 8 gigs of RAM and I had only 4 gigs and it was DDR3 this one is the DDR4 RAM I have currently so I had to make the switch so I thought of upgrading everything because because I wanted to make more cinematic kind of videos in the future which you will be getting it soon on my channel so let's talk about my rig now this one is the Ryzen 7 1700 I got this because uh, I heard it somewhere that Ryzen is better for video editing than Intel I don't know how much true is it but since I have used Intel and the performance was okay-ish because obviously I was using i3 nevertheless let's go to the battlefield between AMD versus Intel so I just chose Ryzen for this one let's see how it goes I can change it in the future maybe and for the graphics card I chose 1060 Dual because I could have got the 1070 but there are only a few differences between the 1060 Dual which is my Asus and the 1070 so I preferred going for the 1060 Dual and I also installed a 1TB hard disk and a 120GB SSD so I regret that a little bit because I think I should have got the 250GB SSD so what I basically do is just I render my videos on the drive which has the SSD so the rendering process becomes a lot faster I can uh, render a full 1080p video at 60 frames about uh, 10 minutes long within 2 to 3 minutes so that helps me a lot to save some time and I have 16 gigs of RAM so the minimum requirement was 8 gigs so I didn't want it to get outdated very soon so I thought of getting 16 gigs audio is as important as the video so I thought of investing in this Zoom H1 and also got a better headphones for monitoring the audio while I edit so I got the Audio Technica M40X the quality and the details in the sound is crystal clear I just love it so much I could have got the M50X but I didn't have the budget so I got the M40X instead they both are good and I had to take my photography game up a notch so I got the uh, Nikon D5500 I didn't go for Canon because because of some conflicts of the budgets and all the journey was huge from the video quality aspect starting off with my screen recording videos to a very poor quality camera which I don't remember what I still have it somewhere in the closet I think I can make a video on that maybe in the future then switching off to phone cameras with my father's Vivo X3s probably and my iPhone 5c then switching it to my main camera which I am currently recording on so if you are considering to buy a DSLR so make sure that you take a kit lens with it because if you directly get the prime then it won't help you much because prime isn't good for everything it's 1.8 I know but still there are many drawbacks like a little bit of zoom is always handy so you should have a different lens with you so that's pretty much it here is my setup hope you enjoy it and I'll try to get my deck setup to rolling very soon I'll try to finish it fast having some budget issues and other issues which I think I'll figure it out myself soon and like I said for behind the scenes you can check me out on Instagram I just keep sharing stories over there and I'll catch you in the next one till then hasta la vista hey guys before you exit this video I'd like to tell you something that if you are a starting youtuber and if you want some help I mean help in a video help in which I can help you and other youtubers out there like 
on how you can improve the lighting or something like that then do let me know then i can mo make more such videos like this then it might help you so anyway thanks